Hello, English 4. Of course, we are going over our agenda, so I'm going to go ahead and open that for y'all. Um, we just went over argumentative text, what those structural elements are, and we should have chosen a topic of interest. That is what we did on Monday and Tuesday. So with that topic of interest and also the claim that it's making, um, you should have done some research um, on the claim and found a specific article that you want to use and analyze and annotate. And um, after you do your research and you pick your article and analyze and annotate the claim and the evidence, um, today we are going to write an analysis paragraph over this topic in the claim. So um, you need to open up this link right here and you can also find this on Canvas as well. All right, so, excuse me. All right, when you're writing this analysis paragraph, there is some criteria I want you to have in this paragraph. You need to state what the topic of choice is and ultimately what the author is claiming in the article you chose to analyze. All right, um, within this claim, going on to proving the claim and the textual evidence, from this claim, there should be points that drive that claim and support that claim. Um, so if I am saying that because the weather is so amazing in Hawaii and the beaches are so beautiful, Hawaii is the best place to vacation. The claim is, Hawaii is the best place to vacation. But what, how did they prove that claim? They said the weather is so nice and the beaches are so beautiful. Those are the ways that the author uh, proved that the, the claim Hawaii is the best place to vacation. All right, so, um, here on in this criteria make sure you are stating what um what are these statements the author is making to support the claim the reasons why i guess you could say in a more general general way um once you kind of dissect exactly uh the claim and the evidence you're going to state your opinion on the claim in your own words and whether you agree or disagree. Um, all right, so that is the analysis paragraph of um, the article you chose over your topic of interest. And um, um, like I told you guys, uh, our theme for the new year is making sure to respond more formally. So make sure you're using correct conventions of writing and enforcing correct capitalization and punctuation. Use correct spelling and correct grammar. So uh, enforce that in this analysis paragraph. Make it really nice. You have a few days to complete it. So take your time, um, but don't be lazy. All right. So. Um, if you guys have any questions over what to do for this assignment, don't be afraid to ask. I am here to help. And um, also, don't be uh, uh, don't forget to do your discussion questions uh, daily. Uh, first thing, know that you always have a discussion qu uh, question in Canvas to answer. Today it should be day four. All right, so. Um, I will talk to you guys next time and have a great rest of your day. Bye.